What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Side of the Tech once again, and today I'm going to show you guys how to enable Steam Play on your Linux Steam machine. And basically, what it's going to allow you to do is play a lot of Windows games directly in your Linux install. Preferably, you're going to want to probably be on Ubuntu for this. 18.04 is what the example will be on. There are additional steps for other distributions, so keep that in mind as well. And we're going to be focusing primarily on using Steam only or the Steam implementation of this only as getting into some of the other caveats for other portions of Wine could be a little bit more difficult for new users. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Welcome back. So Steam's been trying to push people away from Windows for quite some time now. They had their Steam boxes, they came out with Steam OS, which is still a thing as well. And now they are going to basically be kind of circumventing the problem of developers not actually devving for Linux. And the way they're going to do this is basically allow people to opt into a beta, which we'll show you how to do right now, and start testing uh, basically launching and playing Windows only games in your Linux distribution. It uses a custom version of Wine called Proton and there are two versions of it right now and while you can do this all outside of Steam, the point is kind of to make it easier for the everyday person to do it. So we're going to go over how to basically opt in and start testing the one click play Windows games in Ubuntu option for Steam right now. Okay, so first of all, we have this Steam for Linux open up. It's introducing a new version of Steam Play. It is basically going to make it easier to run games through Wine with a custom version called Proton. And we'll just have to opt into the beta. The link for these instructions will be down below. The important thing to note is that if you are on a distribution that is not Steam OS, you're going to have to upgrade the GPU drivers essentially. That's over here, or the walkthrough is over here on their GitHub. And we will also leave this for you guys as well. To do this, it's going to be as simple as just opening up a terminal. And if you're running an NVIDIA GPU, make sure you run these commands. We're actually on an AMD GPU, but I have tested on NVIDIA as well, and these commands work perfectly fine. It will not support drivers lower than the NVIDIA driver 396, so keep that in mind. And it will not run without the latest Mesa 18.1 or up, so you're going to want to make sure you grab that. So for AMD or Intel, this is pretty simple. You're just going to copy, right click, paste, press enter. It'll ask for your password for your administrator account. So you can just type that in real quick and press enter. And it'll grab all the packages. This is basically just grabbing all of the repository here. Now I've already done this, so yours will probably take a little bit longer go down the list, copy and paste the second one, which is going to be the distribution upgrade. Make sure you type Y for yes and continue on. And then finally, you'll have the install of the driver. So you'll just write copy over here once again, right click and paste and press enter. And this will install all of them. As you can see here, zero newly installed, we're up to date. Now, this is going to be what is known as the open source drivers for AMD. While well, if you were running the NVIDIA, luckily NVIDIA has pretty up to date um, official drivers. The AMD drivers that are official, I did try them with this. It will work, but it's significantly lower performance, especially in games that do not support uh, Vulkan or DirectX 11 or 12. Technically, only those games will work, but you can add in some additional options that will allow you to run some older titles or DirectX, below DirectX 11, essentially. But we're not gonna go into that at this point. We're gonna just get the basics out of the way. Now, if you go to the supported games list, you'll see here that there are quite a few supported games, including Doom, which I can confirm works. And all of these are basically confirmed to be working. 
so you can check those out. I've checked out a few as well, additionally on top of that, and we'll talk about that here in a second. The next thing we're gonna need to do is open Steam. And for Steam, you'll want to just head into Steam and then Settings from the menu. And then under Account, you'll want to opt in for the beta. So under Beta Participation here, click Change, select the drop down and select the beta update and click OK. Once you've done this, it will restart Steam. And so you'll just wait for it to restart once again. Once it's restarted, you can go back into Steam and Settings, and at the bottom, you should have a new option called Steam Play. Now, you can uncheck these and say, don't use this uh, tool, essentially, or and then you can uncheck this and say, not for all titles, and that will basically just list the supported games for Steam Play. But if you wanna try the rest of your library, I definitely encourage you to, and let me know which games you got working down in the comment section below. If you wanna try them, check both of these. Select the, the non-beta version of Proton, click OK, and it will have you restart Steam once again. So once it's restarted Steam for the final time, you should be ready to go. If you hover over your library, you'll now see SteamOS plus Linux, and you should have your entire games library, as you can see here, 502, available for you to install. When you go to install a game, for example, if we tried, I think Dying Light didn't work, but I didn't want to try Fallout, so let's click that. So if we click Fallout and click install, uh, da -da, oh. Yeah, so we click Fallout and click Install. It just installs like you normally would expect it to. So click Finish after that and it'll install that game. If you wanna play one of your titles, you can always mount another drive too, which is interesting even if it's a Windows install drive and it will pull all of those games in. The support is hit or miss. Near Automata works, Monster Hunter World works, Doom works of course, because it's officially supported over here. And I've installed a few others that we are going to try, and I'm just basically putting a list together. A lot of Bethesda games work, and No Man's Sky will actually boot and go all the way through the menu system, but there's some serious graphical issues once you're in the game with No Man's Sky, so it's not currently really working. Um, there's a few other titles that I couldn't get working as well. Pretty much anything that has a anti-cheat system in it right now things like PUBG, so on and so forth it will trigger the anti-cheat system and basically not let you play things like battle eye and so on the nuvo uh as well will basically not allow it to run i think an example of this was resident evil 7 which actually is a uh, capcom game similar to monster hunter world and I was hoping it was going to work, but we would have to actually implement a crack to get past Denuvo. So essentially when you click play on Resident Evil 7, for example, it'll say running and then just shut down and not say running anymore. Okay, so that's going to wrap up how to start playing your Windows only games on Linux using the Steam Play option, which of course, like we stated before, uses a custom version of Wine that's Proton. Of course, I don't know all the details, so let me know in the description below. There were a couple games I was disappointed with that didn't work, like Just Cause 3, uh, because Just Cause 3, if you use Wine, you can get it working in Linux, but for some reason the implementation here it isn't allowing it to actually start up and I haven't quite figured out what's going on with that. That being said, I'm pretty much going to cover this from the perspective of I just want to go in and one click play and I'm going to get a list of games that just work, meaning all you have to do is follow what I just did here and click play. Things like this include the latest title that I've tried, of course, that work includes uh, Monster Hunter World, which is super awesome. The performance is great. The performance in Doom is great. Uh, the performance in Doom in OpenGL 4.5 4 isn't as good, so make sure you just click Vulkan and then it takes off and starts running pretty much exactly as it would in your Windows copy. The Monster Hunter World was perfectly fine as well. It ran just as good as it did in Windows. So pretty cool stuff here. It's an awesome option. And if you guys are going to be 
uh, doing this, make sure that you just basically let everybody know that we're actually using Linux so developers start supporting it more and more out of the box. A lot of the problem is, is when you go into the Steam statistics, the developers see that Windows is being used to play, so they just lack the desire to go ahead and develop for uh, the Linux platform straight up. But using this method, you can basically make it make it show that you're actually using or running Linux. And then if that number goes up, we'll get more support. And then we'll have an open source OS to play our games on, and we won't be beholden to the Microsoft overlords. So I'm pretty excited about it. This is some, honestly, uh, the biggest push I've seen from Steam in a while since Steam OS, which kind of flopped. And I think this is a much better route for them to take. So I'm pretty excited for it. I think that this has a lot of potential. I'm curious what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below while you're there too. And I will see you next Tuesday.